the vibrant and captivating young leader Zama Seguebola has been called in to take Mech for Health Magnazzo Malazzi's position immediately by the African National Congress Young League, ANCYL, in the Free State. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. The bold demand, made with the zeal of a revolutionary manifesto, signifies a fundamental change in the political climate of the province. Mayabai Bangani, the provincial secretary of the ANCYL, is the passionate voice at the center of this call to action. Bangani said, the ANC must take decisive steps to include more young people in leadership roles. His words echoing through the halls of power like a rallying cry. We want leaders who are not only aware of the challenges facing our age, but also possess the vigor, ingenuity, and foresight necessary to steer us toward a prosperous and forward-thinking future. The chosen successor, Zama Seguebola, is not your typical contender. Renowned for his intense orations and unwavering dedication to the development of young people, Seguebola has been acclaimed as a revolutionary genius. His ascent to fame has been nothing short of spectacular, earning him the nickname The Torchbearer from his ardent support of radical changes and young concerns. The proposal from the ANCYL has sparked a flurry of discussion across the Free State. Proponents contend that Malazzi's term has been tainted by incompetence and stagnation, and they contend that new leadership is necessary to breathe new life into the health system. Opponents, however, warn against what they perceive to be an impetuous action and wonder whether Seguebola's zeal can be translated into efficient government. The destiny of the health sector in the free state is at stake in this political scenario that is akin to a gladiatorial display. There's no denying that change is blowing hard and that the free state needs more young leaders than ever before, even as the ANC struggles to implement this audacious demand. The world is anxiously awaiting the outcome of this historic struggle for the leadership of the province. Once again, the Democratic Alliance, DA, has made grave accusations against the African National Congress, ANC, alleging that the governing party's negotiators have been behaving dishonestly during recent talks meant to resolve the urgent socio-economic problems facing the country. The charges are made at a critical juncture when there is tremendous pressure on both sides to work together to find answers to South Africa's political unrest and economic problems. For many months, the DA and ANC have been engaged in discussions that center on important matters including economic reforms, employment creation, and the battle against corruption. These conversations are seen to be essential for maintaining political stability and promoting economic expansion in a nation that struggles with high rates of unemployment, enduring poverty, and widespread corruption. The DA's federal leader, John Steenhuisen, expressed his party's annoyances during a news conference held at the Cape Town headquarters. Steenhuisen said that the ANC negotiators were taking unilateral choices without due consultation and were postponing the negotiations. We had the sincere goal of coming to an agreement that would benefit every South African when we started these talks. Regretfully, it is becoming more and more obvious that the ANC's negotiators are not dedicated to this process. According to Steenhuisen, their activities have been marked by backtracking on previously agreed-upon issues, delays, and a lack of openness. The DA claims that the main source of contention has been the ANC's unwillingness to commit to specific anti-corruption initiatives. The Democratic Alliance, DA, asserts that in order to successfully tackle corruption, the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, and the courts must remain independent, and that the ANC negotiators have repeatedly rejected offers to improve this autonomy. The ANC has refuted the DA's accusations, stating that they are politically driven and unsubstantiated. The ANC's Secretary General, Ace Magischel, defended his party's stance in the talks at a counterpress conference in Johannesburg. The ANC has always been dedicated to bringing people together and working for the advancement of our country. The DA's claims serve just as a diversion from their own deficiency of worthwhile recommendations. We want the DA to come back to the table with a more cooperative attitude, and we are still available for talks, Magischel said. Magischel also underlined that the ANC has already given up a lot during the negotiations, especially when it comes to social welfare and economic changes. He said that the Democratic Alliance, DA, prioritizes short-term political advantages above the larger interests of the South African people. 
the DA and ANC's lack of confidence in one another might have a significant impact on South Africa's.